Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. This video has been long awaited and I am finally filming my part two of my product stash. I apologize that it has taken me so long to get this video to you guys, but as you probably already know from my background and from my posts, if you follow me on Instagram, I recently moved. What that means is that I've been trying to get my filming setup situation all together before I film this video. So as you can see, I have an empty shelf here and what you can't see is I have bins and bins of products in front of me. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and place all these products on the shelf and that will be my kind of reorganizing of my products. Um, this is something I've been meaning to do since before I moved, but since I was moving anyway, I just kept putting it off. So here we are. We're going to go ahead and get right into the video. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. I know that I've been a little sporadic with my posting, but I would really appreciate it. Um, if you would subscribe, if you like my content, it really helps me out. So if you have been waiting for my part two of my product stash and want to see me organize all of these products, then just keep watching. So before we get into the products, I want to make a quick shout out to the brand that made this headband that I'm wearing. Um, this is from the brand Femme Jeanne. It is a Haitian owned brand. And if you see the spelling, I'll put it up on the screen. It is not what it sounds like. It is a Haitian owned brand and the name means strong woman. So I do have a coupon code for you guys um, that I will put up on the screen. It is just naturally Natalie, all one word. You can get 15% off your purchase if you use my code. This is one of their many adorable products. This is their uh, Crown Rouge headband, but I have a couple of their headbands. I have some head wraps. Um, let me know if you guys want me to show you a kind of head wrap hair accessory haul um, because I just recently purchased a few more items from them and I'm absolutely loving them. So if you are looking for a good brand that has some great satin headbands, head scarves, they have cotton head scarves, bandanas. If you've been looking for a great brand and you would like to support, then definitely check them out. I will put their information in the description box as I mentioned. Um, so we're gonna get right into the products. You can't see it, but I have five large bins of products and then one smaller one that has like oils and stuff um, that I'm gonna go ahead and start organizing and just throwing up on the shelf. <laughs> so if you haven't seen my previous product stash video, I will link it up in the cards. Um, previously, I had my products arranged by type of product, um, but when I moved, I kind of regrouped them into brand. So that's how I'm gonna organize them on the shelves. I don't think there's gonna be any kind of rhyme or reason to like how I list the brands because that's gonna just take too long. So <laughs> I'm just gonna pull them out as they come out and then just stick them with their friends. And if I need to, move things, I will do that. So I'm gonna try to make this kind of like rapid fire, just pull things out and put them on the shelves. Um, but if you guys notice anything that I haven't reviewed before or that you're interested in, definitely let me know in the comments below if you want me to review those products. I have a couple new things that I've gotten since I last filmed my product stash. Um, and I also have decluttered a lot. So this is pretty much a whole different stash from the last one you guys saw. Um, but that's okay, we're gonna just go ahead and start putting things on the shelf. So the first thing I pulled out was from The Do. This was their um, wash and go collection. So I have the exfoliating shampoo, the five minute deep conditioner. I have the leave-in curl refresher, and then I should have the glaze somewhere in here. So I can't find the styler that goes with this collection, but I do have the Mustef um, texture foam. So I'm gonna put those up here as well. Traylux, I used to have a whole bunch more of their products, but I decluttered, gave some stuff away, threw away things that went bad. Um, so this is all I have left. I have their High Definition um, Curl Enhancer Styling Gel. I have a brand new, actually, because I just purchased this Untie the Knot Leave-In Conditioner. Absolutely love this. And then I have their brand new Soothe and Restore Curl Defining Mousse. This I am going to be doing a, a video on. I just haven't gotten around to doing that. So for me, I have... The, a bunch of limited edition things. I actually don't have that much from the regular line, which is surprising. I have a few, but um, the peaches and cream moisturizing cleansing shampoo. I also have the juicy green apple shampoo. This is their deep cleanse, cleansing shampoo. A little secret about Mish, their products are very similar to their regular line. Um, when it comes to the limited edition stuff, it's just they have a different fragrance <laughs> pretty much. So like this Cleansing shampoo is like detox. I've compared ingredients. They're pretty much the same. And then the moisturizing sh cleansing shampoo from the Peaches and Cream. This is basically cleanse. 
again, ingredients compare. Um, they just have that added fragrance or whatever oil um, that they added. This is the styler from the Juicy Green Apple. This is their curl glaze. Have that, and then this is that is one product that is unique. Um, I don't think they have anything in their regular line that compares to this, so um, that's a good product. Um, and then their curl hydrating spray, also from Juicy Green Apple. That's like their boost spray. Um, from their regular line, I have the Prime Smoothing and Detangling Conditioner. I have Sculpt curl defining gel absolutely love that so I have both of their deep conditioners indulge which is their moisturizing and then strengthen which is their protein moisture balance deep conditioner love both of these as well their leave-in conditioner lavish love that bounce curl defining cream I had their mousse set I can't remember if I finished it or if I gave it to someone I'm surprised that I would have given it to someone because I really liked it I might have given it to my sister which was silly of me, but because <laughs> I actually really like that mousse. But maybe I finished it and I just don't remember finishing it. Oh, here, I found the Pop Lock Wash and Go Glaze that goes with the the Do Wash and Go Collection. Just put that there. I think this is all I have for Mixed Chicks. So I have two products from the Castor Oil line, which I reviewed on my channel. I have the uh, Moisture Control Curl and Wave Styling Sculptor and then the Moisture Splash Curly Styling Gel. I absolutely love the results I got from these. These are great. And then I have their regular um, leave-in conditioner. This is the staple that most people have. Oh, I have more Mish. So I forgot I have these limited edition deep conditioners. Is it just these two? Nope. Um, okay, I think that's all of them. Yes. Oh, wow, I really, so I used to have like all of the limited edition niche deep conditioners i really like pared down my collection i think i gave some to my sister i think it finished yeah some of them are in my empties bag down here so um i really worked through them but what i have left are the peaches and cream deep conditioner these and then two of their newest ones these were from their holiday collection i really need to use them i haven't even i don't even think i've opened them honestly but i couldn't oh my god they smell so good they're like holiday scent, so it's like weird, but I need to use them because I have them. Um, so I got the Spike Cider Deep Conditioning Treatment and then the Sparkling Cranberry. Um, so I really just need to use them. Oh my god, they smell so good. Yeah, they've been sitting here. I either need to use them or like stick them in the fridge or something because um, I'm sure they're not going to last forever. So I need to do that. So yeah, those are all my deep conditioners from Mish. I've got some Eden Body Works, the Lavender Owl line, I have the Moisturizing Leave-In. I think the lighting is, you probably can't even see any of these products, can you? Yeah, because the light is so bright. Um, I don't know what to do about that. I'll see if I can adjust it. <laughs> but yeah, I have that. And then I have the Anti-Breakage Deep Conditioner from the same line, as well as the Smoothing Gel. I also have, which is a fairly recent purchase, so I had them kind of off to the side because I just use them actually. I have the peppermint and tea tree line. Um, I just recently purchased these and actually I use them um, for my hair. This is what's in my hair now. Um, so I have their clarifying shampoo. I have the detangling conditioner. And then I also have the moisturizing hair milk, which is actually the only product that's in my hair right now literally just applied this and you can see I didn't even use that much um, I don't know if you can tell because of the light um, but yeah I barely used any and just put my hair in like straight out of the shower applied this put my hair into braids and then took it out this morning and this is what it, what it looks like so absolutely love this um, is it gonna last probably not but for like a quick first day hair type of situation came out really cute um, and then I also have their hair oil, which I've already used this quite a few times just to kind of like freshen up and like add a little bit of shine. And I really like this. And it smells like peppermint, which is great. So I think that is everything from Eden Body Works. This is kind of a product by itself. It's the only product I have from them, Curls and Potions. Um, I really like this. Um, it is their Defining Styling Gel. Um, it's a flaxseed based gel. Actually, I should have used this for this wash and go because it's humidity resistant. I like this. I might use this um, when this starts to not last <laughs> because I'm sure this is not gonna last very long. But 
Um, I really like this. It gives me really good definition, decent hold. Um, it's a good gel. I had a couple other products from them. I actually am an affiliate for them as well. I don't remember my coupon code for them, but I will put it down in the description box. Um, I believe it is still active. I have a couple Cream of Nature products. So I have this, um, the Pure Honey Twist and Hold Defining Custard, but then I also have the Plex Breakage Defense System. It has a pre-shampoo treatment, a shampoo and a conditioner. Um, the pre-shampoo treatment smells kind of funny, but other than that, they're decent products. Diva Curl, this is the only product I have from them still. Um, this is, and it's probably old, so I probably should get rid of it. Yeah. It's still, it still smells good, that's weird. I need to just use it up, but this is their Super Stretch Coconut Curl Elongator um, Styling Cream. So the next things I have are from Shea Moisture. I have the Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Conditioner, and then the Red Palm Oil and Cocoa Butter. I don't even know if they still make these products. They're really old. <laughs> um, they still smell good because I smelled them and I was like, oh, maybe I should get rid of them, but they smell fine. So I'm keeping them. This is a newer-ish product that I got. This is the Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Whipped Curl Cream. I actually really like this. This is a really good one and done cream styler and it actually has hold. So you can use this for wash and go if you have the type of hair. I don't, my hair doesn't do great with cream only wash and goes. I can do them, but they're not my favorite. Um, but it was really good for a one and done twist out. So definitely like that. This is the red palm oil and cocoa butter styling jelly. I have to try this again because I don't remember loving it. Um, but I also don't remember not liking it. So I just got to try it again and see if I like it. And then this is the Moringa and Avocado Power Greens Reconstructor. That's just a like strengthening deep conditioner. This is another like standalone product, so maybe I'll put that up here. This is the Bomb Pro Hair Jelly. This is the Alkane Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In, or not Leave-In, uh, Hold It Styling Gel. <laughs> um, I do like this gel. It's a weird consistency, and I know people complained about it. It's like a weird, I don't know if you can even see it. It's like a weird like jelly consistency. Oh, I just dropped some. Um, jelly consistency. Um, it's a nice gel. I like it. Um, it gives me really good definition, good hold. Um, so I do like that. It's just a weird consistency. People complain about it, but it's fine. Then I have some Function of Beauty. And this is the line, this is the one that you can get in Target. There are actually more products that I want to pick up because they have stylers now, which is awesome. Um, but I started off with the shampoo and conditioner, which I have reviewed on my channel. These are the little like booster shots that you can put in there. This is what I most recently purchased, which is the mask that goes with that function of beauty. This is the coily hair mask. Um, and you can do the same thing. You can mix in like the booster shots and make your own like customized formula. I have not used this one yet, um, but I need to. So. Um, that will be something I will be trying soon. And that is it for the first bin. We are all empty. Nature's Little Secret. Absolutely love them. This is Cucumber Nourishing Shampoo. This is a brand new one I just replenished. Um, I have their newest product, which is the Agave Nectar Moisturizing Treatment. I haven't tried this yet, and I'm actually a little nervous to use something so high in humectants. I mean, I don't think Agave Nectar would work the same way as like glycerin in the summer, but I might wait until the fall to try this out, but it smells really good. We'll see. Well, <laughs> I'm going to use it eventually. I'm just holding off on that for now. This is their mixed fruit nutrient rich deep conditioner. Love this one. This is their coconut milk strengthening deep conditioner. Love this also. I love the new packaging too. It's really cute. I think I have a couple of products. Ugh, this lighting, you really can't see it. There we go. Um, super cute, right? Um, I love the, the way that they redid the packaging. It's really cute. Um, I do have also the Fenugreek Detangling Prepoo. This is their old packaging and I don't know if this is still good. I don't have to check if this is still good. <laughs> but this was from their, um, it looks okay. When they had their kids line, they don't have it anymore. But this is the chocolate conditioner. Um, you can use this as a rinse out or a leave-in. And I usually use it as a leave-in. Oh my god, can you see? There we go. Irish Moss Styling Cream. Absolutely love this. This is a staple product in my collection. You can't see it because of the light. Come on. <laughs> there we go. I didn't even have this open. Oh my gosh. That would have helped. Oh my god. <laughs> well, there you go. I didn't even have my blinds open. It was probably dark this whole time. Anyway, <laughs> this is the Okra Curl Defining Gel. This is pretty old too. This is the old packaging. Oh, and it spilled 
Um, this is their Foxy Curly Custer. This was their previous styler. This is almost finished. I need to just finish this up. Their Lemon and Rosemary Clarifying Shampoo. Next, we're gonna do Baskin Bloom, which I've tried. Did I try the shampoo part? I think I did try. Yeah, I've used this before. Yes. Um, I've tried most of the products. Um, I have not yet done a review, but I have tried for the most part um, almost all. I don't think I've tried the gel yet, but um, this is Baskin Bloom. This is the Rassel Bentonite Clay Shampoo Bar. I do really like that. This is their Hydrating Vitamin Curl Mousse. Loved this for a twist out. Um, twirly hair gel. I have not tried this yet, but I do want to try that for a wash and go. Um, the Brahmi Root Hair Mask. Absolutely love this. Super moisturizing. It's a great hair mask. And the More, More Moisture Cream. Um, I used this with the mousse and it was really good. Pulchy Chocolate and Kings and Curls. I only have a couple things from them. The Moisturizing Mango Styling Milk. Um, I used to have the Mango and Methy Clay Wash, but I finished that. But um, that came from the same line. I have the Maki Berry Styling Custard. I actually really like this. I need to use that more. Um, and then I have their Bentonite Cocoa Creme Clay Wash. I think this is the last clay wash I have from them. I'm going to go with As I Am. So I have a couple of the curl colors um, in Hot Red and Sassy Silver. And then I have the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Curling Cream. This is probably almost finished because I use this a lot. Yeah. I need to just finish it. But do like this. It's a really good cream. And then I have the curling jelly. This is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil leave-in conditioner. It's a really good leave-in. I have the rice water line, and then I also have the Jamaican Black Castor Oil water. Um, so the rice water line has a micellar shampoo, a conditioner, and then the rice water. And then I have the Jamaican Black Castor Oil water. Aunt Jackie's, I just have these two products. I have the Ice Curls Glossy Curling Jelly, and then the Frizz Patrol setting mousse both from the grapeseed collection oh i have another nature's little secret avocado moisture cream this is the old packaging so i need to finish that as well um these are a brand i found at bath and body works i didn't even know they had curly hair products but apparently they do um this is the moxie line this is the shampoo for coily hair it has olive oil and panthenol and then this is the hair mask for coily hair that has shea butter so i actually tried these and really like them so um i will i didn't know if i should do a video because i don't think anybody knows about these products um but they were really good i may do a video on those i'm gonna do these guys that have just like one or two products and put them up here so the main choice i have this prickly pear paradise no poo conditioning cleansing foam this is almost finished i need to do that it's a co-wash um i have the do it for the culture accomplished triple layer leave-in i love this stuff and i do have also the this is the mask i think yeah this is the magnificent magnificent miracle mask and i also have the gel from that line i do also have from the prickly pear paradise line the curl creator styling custard i actually like this one um a lot of people didn't like that but i used it for a braid out on dry hair and i actually really liked it so um, this is the Moisturizing Styling Cream from Four Leaf Clover line. I've only used this like once. It didn't wow me. Um, I, I might have to just try it again and see if I like it. And then a couple more gels. This is so old. I probably need to finish this. <laughs> this is the Ancient Egyptian 24 Karat Glistening Gold Gel. Tropical Moringa. It's looking a little funny. I might have to check that out. Pearly Braid Out Glaze. I do like that though. Um, and then, of course, the classic I always have to have in my stash. This is Cheers Gelato. And that is it from the main choice. All right, so I'm going to put curls in this corner. So let's see. I've got Blueberry Bliss. I have the leave-in conditioner, the curl control jelly, and then the mousse. Two out of the four gels from the Ultimate Styling Collection. I had all four. I gave some away. I don't remember if I ever did a video on these. I don't think I did. But I tried them all and I like them, <laughs> um, especially the green one. That one has really good hold, uh, but I gave that one away. But I have still the Be Smooth Curl Butter Gel, which is supposed to be for protective styles. And then the Be Defined Curl Defining Gel, which is supposed to be for braid outs and twist out. Sea Moss Collection. I think I have the entire collection. I don't think there's, unless there's an oil or something, I don't think there is. But 
think I have the whole collection. I have the Powerhouse Sea Moss Cleanser, the Strengthening, what is this, 92 Mineral Glow and Grow Conditioner. So this is a Strengthening Moisture Mask. I have the Sea Moss Curl Cream, Nourish and Shine Sea Moss Foam. And then I also have the slime, the curl slime, which is their gel, basically. Um, I do like this gel, it's really good. Um, it's an interesting consistency and it makes you a little nervous because it's so high in glycerin, but it actually works really well. All right, next bin, empty. So what I am quickly figuring out is I'm not gonna fit all my products on this shelf, <laughs> unfortunately. So, um, what I'm going to do is just fill up what I can of this last bottom shelf. I'm going to have to bring you guys down a little bit so you can see it. Um, but I will finish this last shelf. I'll put a couple more things up here. Um, but I think I'm going to have to do a part two to this part two, <laughs> which I hate to do that because it took me so long to do this video. But I don't think I'm going to be able to fit everything and that there's nowhere else in here for me to organize things. I mean, I could put stuff on top of this like dresser. Um, but I'm gonna want something to organize them in. Unfortunately, that breaks my heart because I wanted to have this done. Um, but at least my product shelf will be done and I can film for you guys at least. I'll have that part done. I just am gonna have to do a part two <laughs> because I still have three full bins of product and not enough space. So, didn't think that one through. I had a feeling this shelf was not gonna be enough. <sighs> In my mind, I thought I could make them fit, but yeah, it's it's not gonna fit all on here. So there'll be another part three. Actually, let me finish this top shelf. Then I'll bring you down. We'll do the bottom shelf and then we'll have to come back. I'm sorry. All right, so Kinky Curly, I have the Come Clean Shampoo. I have the Not Today Leave-In and then the Kinky Curly Curly Custard. I actually have not tried these yet, right? That's crazy, like who am I? And my, oh, I did use the um, not today leave-in, but not with the custard. I haven't used the custard at all. Um, am I even a natural? Because I haven't tried Kinky Curly. Like, that's unheard of, right? <laughs> so I definitely need to try that. I have used the shampoo, and it's really good. I like that. It's a really good clarifying shampoo. I don't even know. I was still taped. It's, that's, I haven't even opened it. <laughs> like, I haven't even opened it to smell it. That's crazy. But yeah, I need to I need to use this because that's ridiculous that I haven't tried it yet. So as far as straight hair products, I have these Dark and Lovely Blowout. I have the Smoothing Weightless Wash and then the Moisture Treat Deep Conditioner. I used to have this whole line, but I gave some of that away to my mom because she straightens her hair more than I do. Um, so these are the only two I kept from those. I also have the Flawless by Gabrielle Union Blowout um, products. So there's a smoothing blow dry cream and you can't see it. It's that's what it is. <laughs> um, and then a shine enhancing sh heat protectant spray. Um, so I'm going to keep these guys up here as well because I don't really use them that often. This is all I have left from melanin. That's crazy. I don't have the leave in. I don't have the cream. I think I finished those. All I have left is a shampoo. So I guess this can go by itself up here as well. This is another random product. I just have one of this is the curly chic. Mixed Texture Hair Care. This is a lot of words on here. What is the name of this product? Oh, Your Curls Define Firm Hold Curling Cream. This does actually have a firm hold. I have to try this again. It has silicone in it. Um, I think it made my scalp itch, which is weird because I didn't use it on my scalp. <laughs> but like, I think I use it for a twist out and when I put my hair up at night, um, it made my scalp itch. So I have to see, I have to try this again and see if that was just like a random fluke. It did have a really good hold. I will say that much, but um, yeah, that's another like random product by itself. This is from Unicurl. I used to have a bunch of their products as well. Gave most of them away. Um, this is the Elongating Twisting Cream and then the Moisturizing Mousse, which I like both of these. This is a product that I don't really like, but I guess I'll keep somewhere up here. This is the Way Thick Hair Treatment Mask. This thing sucks. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it was terrible. It left my hair feeling so tangled it smells really nice it smells good it's very perfumey but um this did nothing for my hair it was like a tangled mess it was terrible i would not recommend this don't buy it um <laughs> if you have hair like mine anyway don't don't waste your money i knew i had another curls and potion this is the price water pre cleanse primer it's the pre poop that i was talking about that goes with the curls and potion so i do have that I see and like when I was moving I tried to keep things grouped together <laughs> with brands but 
there came a point where I was just throwing things in boxes, so that probably just happened. It's Uncle Funky's Curly Magic. I haven't used this in ages. This is probably not even good anymore. I've had this for so long. Um, <laughs> but it can stay for now. Okay, so that's it for, I think, the top shelf. I'm going to bring you guys down a little bit so you can see this bottom shelf. So I'm going to try to empty one more bin and see if I can get them into this bottom shelf so let me bring you guys down so we are down to the last shelf i actually like this like filming setup i probably so i should have like focused on this shelf because this is probably what's going to be showing when i film because <laughs> i'm probably going to sit here and use this as my filming anyway not related to this video let's start with curl mix i did pare down my curl mix a good bit so shouldn't be too much in here i have this is the only one yeah i have the blackberry boost Moisturizer, I think I finished the gel for that one. I have the Mango Magic line. I have the Avocado Moisturizer, the Honey Gel, and the Mousse, it's the Setting Mousse. Pineapple Potion, I have the Leave-In Conditioner and the Flakeless Gel, and the Mousse, Setting Mousse. I use up the gels before the moisturizers usually, so I have a bunch of moisturizers with no matching gel. This is the Brown Sugar Fresh Moisturizer. And I need to just use them as like refreshers. Liquid leave-in, pumpkin power. So I have one missing in the moisturizer for the lavender, but I have the full set of the lavender um, sample size kit. Shampoo and conditioner of the fragrance free. I think that's it for curl mix. All right, pattern. I have the curl mousse, leave-in conditioner, love that. I have the curl gel, which I was gonna try with the mousse to see if I like it, cause I didn't like it by itself, but um, I might like it with the mousse. Styling cream, love that. Stronghold gel, also love that. And what else? Oh, I have the pattern treatment mask, which I actually have not tried yet. So I'm gonna be doing a video on that soon. But, and I have the detangling nectar, which I have tried, but I haven't reviewed on my channel yet. Um, maybe I'll do the detangling nectar and the treatment mask together in a video, but definitely wanna review that for you guys. I really like that. Okay, so tangles, I have the Frizz Whiz Curl Defining Leave-In. I only used that a couple times. Nappylicious Kink Drink, love this refresher. Fro Despair, Vitamin Hair Repair. Oh, I forgot I had this. I haven't tried this yet. Yeah, this is the Chevy Ginger Super Deep Conditioner. I haven't used that yet. I'm sprung Coil Boosting Jelly. This was good for a twist out, not so great for a wash and go. It just didn't have enough hold. I have the Hola, Hola, Holy, this is a tongue twister. Let me try it again. <laughs> Holy Henna Healing Hair Antenna. This is a uh, hair gloss, deep conditioning caramel gloss. Yeah, I haven't tried this yet, um, but I should try that soon. And then the Can't Believe It's Not Butter Sprout and Twist Out and Frozen Dripping Grip Super Hole Gel. Love this gel. It took me forever to try it because it was always sold out. Um, and it's like lemony smelling. Ugh, it smells so good. Um, finally got my hands on it and I love it. So, so glad I finally got that. Well, this bin is almost empty. Oh, good. So I have, these are two random products again. This is a um, Bioterra alcohol-free styling mousse. It's not our type of mousse. This is for other types of hair. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna stick it in the back here. That was sent to me, so I just tried it. Um, and then this is the Mazzani 25 Miracle Hair Milk. Use this mostly on my hair when I straighten it. Um, it's a good like heat protectant, moisturizer, things like that. So I think I'm gonna stick it up here with my other straight hair things. All right, so that, that's all I can fit in here. I do have these drawers down here, but they're full of, um, I don't know if you guys can even see, but they're full of accessories. I have a couple wigs in here. I do have some edge controls um, in this bin here. So I just have them organized in here just because it was easier, um, but I have a whole bunch of edge controls. I don't know if you guys want me to go through what edge controls I have. Um, they just, they don't tend to be that exciting to me, but I have been using this a lot lately. This is the Edge Fixer Glued uh, Max Hold Edge Gel. This is the watermelon one. I do love these. Um, they have all kinds of fragrances in that one. Um, and then I have the Pure Honey one. The pattern one is really good. I do like the pattern edge control. This was from Chromix. It was one of their limited edition ones. That was pretty good. Um, and then this actually, <laughs> this is the only product I like from this brand. This is Natural Club. This is the black edge control glaze. I love this because it's jet black. 
Um, so if you have thinning edges, it helps kind of smooth down those edges. So I do like that. But yeah, that's I just have them in here. Oh gosh, breaking things. All right, I just broke that. Okay, I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> We're just gonna ignore that. I'm gonna fix that when we get off camera. That's it. That's as much as I was able to get through. I mean, that's three bins full of product. Um, I still have two more and then some kind of scattered things here and there. So let me know if you guys like this video. Let me know if there's anything that you saw in my product stash that you would like me to review. Um, anything that I have already reviewed, I'm probably not going to have enough cards to put all of them, obviously, but I'll try and link them in the description box. Um, and then again, if there are any coupon codes that I mentioned, so the um, curls and potions, I have a coupon code for I think it's Natalie 15 but I'll put it in the description box and then I'll also put the uh, coupon code for the headband um, but yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed this video that was a lot and I felt like I thought I was gonna have less chaos in this room once I had everything done but it's there's still chaos it's okay we'll get there but I'm glad to finally have a video out for you guys thank you guys so much for watching and for continuing to support my channel I appreciate each and every one of you I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time I will see you guys in my next video bye